Hi guys and welcome to the studio. I'm totally playing hooky from Miss Grace's anime class. But I think she'll forgive me. I checked in on them. They're doing great. I'm just usually the moderator during it. But I think they're okay for just a few minutes because I wanted to show you this fun little ice art activity and my ice is gonna melt if I don't do it. I almost forgot because Miss Sarah stopped by. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, Lida. I was doing something else, and then I ran across my ice, and I was like, oh, crap, I gotta do that video. Or we're not gonna have ice, we're gonna have water. So, so if you saw last week on Friday, our story time class, they did an ice art activity to go along with the story, Ice Boy. And I posted some pictures of it. Hang on, let me move my tripod a little. I posted some pictures of it, and I didn't tell everybody what it was. I was just like, guess what this is? And some of you got it right. You knew right away that it was ice and salt and watercolors. Um, and I wanted to show you this invitation because I know some of you guys, look at my finger, I know. <sighs> oh well, at least it's a fun band-aid. Um, some of you guys are going to be stuck at home here very soon and not stuck at home, safe at home very soon. And this is an easy one to do. So I have frozen, it's starting to melt, but <laughs> I have frozen a block and it was just right out of my freezer, plain old tap water. And I'm going to dump it out and put it on a tray here. So this is my tray o tray o ice now you can do this with just ice cubes too you don't have to do the block but i do think the block is kind of fun okay. our other supplies that we need for this one is salt um, my box is broken at the bottom so it's kind of making a mess but just a little bit of table salt you can also use rock salt you can use kosher salt you can use i don't even know pickling salt any kind of salt it all works um and then i've got different colors of liquid watercolors now if you were presenting this to kids um, I wouldn't give them a thing of liquid watercolors, right? You would give them like a little muffin tin of it or a little palette of it um, and then a dropper, okay? If you don't have the liquid watercolors, you can absolutely use like tray watercolors and a paintbrush and this also works. Just make sure you have to, you know, you have to use water. So get your paints really, really wet and use it there. And if you still don't have that, you can totally just dilute some food coloring and use it as watercolor paint, so. But all those options will work. And I would put that out, you know, portioned for your kiddos. Same thing with the salt. Like, you wouldn't give them a box of salt. Give them a little pincher condiment cup of it or a little plate of it or something so they can use their pincher fingers, okay? And it's a very process, open-ended activity. And we're just going to paint on our art. The only thing I added here is I did bring a flashlight with me because shining the light on the ice shows um, some of the details. So I did bring a flashlight. If you don't have a flashlight, you could um, you could do this just you know outside in the sunshine um, on a mild day like it is today. You could do this um, you know on top of a light table is awesome. Um, so any of those options are good, and that's just a bonus. You don't have to have that. But here's what happens. Let me just lower you down so you can see my ice. Hang on, give me a second to get the tripod situated. Oh yeah, there it is. So there's my ice down here. I'll show you how this works. So I usually start by putting salt on some of my ice. And what that does is it starts to like burrow holes and see, look, I told you the bottom was broken. Holes and come on out there. There we go. See, don't mind me making a mess here in the lobby. Nobody comes in my lobby anymore anyway. She sprinkles some salt on it. And if you're really like, sometimes you can put your ear down next to it and you can hear it. It starts to crackle. And it forms little holes in the ice and it starts to burrow down. So I like to put some, some salt on there and then I'm just gonna put my salt off to the side because I have too much and I did not bring a condiment cup, so don't mind me. Then we get to start with the watercolors. Now my watercolors, I did not bother putting a tray together of my watercolors, but um, you guys can totally like use your little dropper, right? And drop your watercolors on it. I'm gonna go right from the bottle because I'm the teacher and I can do that. <laughs> and I will show you what this looks like. But it starts to, like, some of it's going down the side. And I don't know if you can tell, but some of it is going inside the ice block. It follows kind of the cracks and crevices here. Ooh, it's so fun. All right, let me grab a different color. These, um, these are child safety caps. And the, you know, lots is happening here because we've got the salt that's reacting with the, with the ice block, right? 
We've got the watercolors, which are room temp and warmer than the ice, so they do a little bit of the melting. And then, um, you know, just being in room temperature, the ice is melting too. So it's always just changing. Um, this is a very like temporary and process art activity. Let me see the cracks. I'm gonna see if I can get some to go down in here. Let's get a little bit more salt right there. I like it, it looks like it has um, like polka dots or freckles on it. So we did this in our story time class last week and um, I mean easily, easily half an hour's worth of activities. I know some of our families continued to play with this um, long after we turned off the Zoom camera. Um, so, so much fun. I love the, the dark, dark color. That's really cool. Look at it go. I don't know if you've got a good angle. Let me flip this and see if you can see it from my side. If this is better. Look at that. Whoop, it slid, slid down the tray. <laughs> Let me see if I put like a light underneath it or a light. It's hard to show it on camera. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my phone and see if I can get it closer. I had some really good pictures I think on Facebook, um, but video is different. Can you see how it burrows those holes down into the ice block? Let's see, I got an unusual angle here, but some of the yellow on top of that tealy color see what happens we can put a little bit more salt in there so the reason it has like the little kind of um, holes or pockets is because of the because of the salt and I can see like on my side um, like you can see into the block and you can start to see some, it almost looks like, like suspended raindrops. It's so cool. So let me, let me grab some. I haven't used the pink and I feel like I should. My pink is a glitter pink. Um, not that that matters. Well, it does matter. It always matters, but that's so cool. I'm going to do that one over here by the, the orange. I'll put a little bit more salt up here by the orange. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. We'll throw some salt. I'm going to try to get you to I'll move you around, turn the camera the other direction, and see if I can show you it from, from my side because I think it just looks so different. You can also get, uh, get, you can also get um, like just a cup of water, like warm water, warm-ish water, um, and your dropper and, and, you know, play with putting that on top of your block because, of course, that totally affects everything. speed up the melting process. All right, let me grab this camera. I want to turn it around. You're going to see my lobby here. There's the lobby. There we go. This is good because then you can see what I'm seeing. So look at that. I'm going to try not to give you guys motion sickness. Can you see inside in that ice block so some of the drips here are on the outside, but some of these drips are actually inside the ice block, which is so cool. So they're actually looking through the ice. If I run my finger over it, you know, it's not moving the paint because that ice is inside the ice block. Isn't that cool? Like, look at that one, that blue one there. That looks like my hair when i am got my hair down on a crazy hair day. And then here's the top of it. So, like, the top of the black, that's what it looks like. I feel like the flashlight, the camera just adjusts to the light, so it's not really showing it. But that's it, you guys. This is the project. So... Um, I mean, I could continue to play with this, and goodness knows our kids totally did. Um, you continue layering on your salt, and you continue laying on your color um, just over and over and over again. You can also, like I said, you can layer on just regular water. Um, 
And as you watch, this whole block will become filled with color. Eventually, I mean, you can see kind of my puddle of liquid here. Um, the resulting puddle isn't nearly as cool as how fun the block is, but you know, part of me, if I really wanted to, to make it pretty, I'd probably put like some towels underneath my block to soak up the, the liquid that comes out of it because it doesn't stay in a pretty rainbow <laughs> as it flows out of the, the, the block. It, it looks a lot prettier going in than it does coming out because they just get all mixed together. But, but it is just so cool. There's some more green. Look at that. So the kids had so much fun with this, and I hope that you guys do too. So here's an easy activity for you to try at home with the kids. It's a process activity, one that you can set up and just let them explore. There's no wrong way to do it. Um, it's temporary art, right? Aside from pictures and video, there's there's really no way to, to save it. Well, I guess you can put it back in the freezer. Some of our kids in our classes who used um, like regular old... Um, ice cubes they had a lot of fun with trying to build as the as the block starts to melt they tried to you know stick it together and build a tower and then paint it so all sorts of like really great ideas come from this kind of process art you see this side's definitely got a lot more brown in it than my my side so it's just like sculpture working in the round got to see all of it so this is the best side that's, you know why? Because it has a lot of orange on it. That's why it's the best side. Super fun. All right, well, I hope you guys really had a good time with this one. If you try it at home, I would love to see pictures of your ice block art. Um, it doesn't have to be a rainbow. You could use a color scheme that you guys love or your favorite kids' colors or, or anything like that. So show me pictures or video. Tag me in your Instagram stories. I'd love to see it. If you have questions... Something I did not answer, make sure to ask it in the comments so I can help you out. And as always, you guys, if you need anything, we're here for you. I know the world keeps changing super duper fast, but if there's anything we can do to continue to support you and your artists at home, just let us know. So lots of love, and we can't wait to see you guys in the studio soon.